It's really important that uh, accountants working in business and industry and working in audit and assurance um, engage um, with um, sustainability and accountancy. There's a number of drivers for this, such as regulation, we've got the EU um, CSR directive, we've got the International Sustainability Standards Boards, um, first two exposure drafts, which will become standards by the middle of 2023. Uh, we have the SEC's proposed rule uh, in the UK. Uh, the UK government uh, is beginning to work uh, around its um, uh, form of corporate reporting for sustainability. So um, we know that accountants will be involved um, with all of this. It's highly likely that the sustainability teams will be working with the finance teams um, to create this information. So that's one big driver. The other big driver is, of course, the role particularly of management accountants um, with supporting their businesses with uh, the delicate balancing between uh, value creation in the short term uh, and value creation um, over time. So we've started by embedding um, sustainability considerations into the competency framework, which informs our CGMA qualification, our Chartered Global Management Accountant um, qualification. Um, and that then feeds through to the curriculum that students cover. For example, as part of that, uh, we've integrated um, integrated reporting uh, into, uh, into the competency framework and the curriculum. And integrated reporting um, is being strongly encouraged um, by the IASB, the sister board to the IWSB, as the ideal mechanism for connecting financial with sustainability related performance information. Um, so that's one of the things uh, that we've done. Uh, we also have three learning products, uh, which we encourage our members and our non-members uh, to take. Um, the first of these is our Fundamentals in ESG Certificate. Um, this is uh, e-learning. Um, it's available for, for both members and non-members and provides um, a basic overview of, of what's meant by the E, uh, environmental, the S, the social, the G, the governance, um, and why this matters, um, particularly uh, to accountants. Um, the second uh, educational product that we have uh, is we've teamed up uh, with the IFRS Foundation to be able to offer our members the FSA credentials, the Fundamentals of Sustainability Accounting Credential, there's two levels to this qualification. Um, you have to pass level one in order to move on to level two. When you have successfully completed level two, you can call yourself an FSA credential holder. And um, what this does is it provides um, a really good insight into um, what's meant by sustainability accountancy, um, how the SASB standards um, are helping to inform um, the IWSB's um, standards and how this information is used uh, by the investment management industry. So a lot of the people who've taken the FSA credential holder um, are on the investment management side, the portfolio management side um, of the equation. Um, and I think that's really useful for accountants to understand how this information ultimately is used um, by one of their key stakeholders. Um, and the third thing um, which we've recently announced um, is a partnership with the University of Oxford Said Business School. Uh, to launch um, an executive management program in sustainability and business uh, that uh, uh, will be launched in September 2023. Um, there'll be four of these each year. Um, although the, the learning is delivered online, it's a live cohort. Um, and those who successfully complete one of these programs uh, will be issued with a joint certificate um, from ARCPA and SEMA and the University of Oxford Side Business School. Uh, which we think will be very valuable uh, in terms of enhancing careers and demonstrating um, professional expertise um, in why sustainability considerations uh, are significant um, for business. We're super excited um, about this partnership. AICPA and SEMA um, is the world's largest and most prestigious uh, accountancy institute. The University of Oxford has been ranked the world's number one university for each of the last seven years. Um, and we think this partnership between ARCPA and SEMA and the University of Oxford um, and the programmes which will come out from it, beginning with this executive management programme, uh, will be um, really valuable. Um, and um, they're available uh, for members uh, and for non-members. So anybody who's watching this, we encourage you uh, to go to our website, to go to the Side Business School's website, um, and you'll be able to read more about this programme uh, and express your interest in, uh, in joining it and participating in it. We also have um, a whole suite of, of helpful and formative resources um, on our website. So if you go to AICPA.org, um, 
um, and there's a subsection within that called um, uh, climate change and ESG stroke um, sustainability. Um, you'll, you'll see the, the types of resources that we've made available, um, both to members and, and non-members. Um, we, we have some fantastic thought leadership. Um, by way of example, um, we, in February of 2023, um, co-published uh, a thought leadership study with IFAC on the state of play in sustainability assurance. This is the third um, in the series and is now up to date in terms of it covers the most recent full reporting year. Um, and that will give you a really good sense of um, country by country um, for the world's um, largest um, capital markets, um, who's doing um, sustainability reporting and who's assuring it.